similar figures. Before we begin with similar figures, let's talk about congruent figures. Congruent figures have corresponding sides and angles that are equal. In other words, the shapes are totally the same. What are similar figures? Similar figures, they have the same shape but are different sizes. The corresponding angles, since they're the same shape, are equal, but the sides are proportional. Are these rectangles similar? Well, they're rectangles, so they have all matching right angles. But now we need to see if the sides are proportional. This rectangle has a ratio of 5 wide to 7 long. This rectangle has a ratio of 7 wide to 9 long. Are these ratios equal? Are they proportional? One way to check is to cross multiply. 7 times 7 is 49. 5 times 9 is 45. Since these are different, the ratios are not equal, and these rectangles are not similar. Here we have two right triangles, and we want to see if they are similar. We can see that they both have right angles. Now let's check to see if the sides are proportional. So the ratio of sides for this one the shortest base for the right angle is 3 feet. The longer base touching the right angle is 4 feet. Now I want to set that equal here. We got the shortest base of this right angle is 6 feet. And the longer base is 8 feet. You need to make sure that when you set up your proportions, the sides are corresponding. Hopefully you can tell that 3 out of 4 is the same as 6 to 8. If you can't, you can also cross multiply. And you see that the cross products are 24. Yes, these are similar figures. These are similar shapes. Find x. Well, since they are similar, that means that the sides are proportional. So let's make a ratio out of these sides. The small base is 4 to the large base of 8. The ratio for this one is going to be the short base is 6, the long base is x. Make sure everything matches up. Now that you have your proportion, you can cross multiply and solve for what x is equal to. Four x equals 48, divide both sides by 4, x equals 12 centimeters. Find the area and perimeter of a 3 foot by 4 foot rectangle. Double the dimensions. What is the new area and perimeter? So here's the rectangle, 3 feet by 4 feet. The area is the base times the height, so 3 times 4 is 12 feet squared. The perimeter will be to add all the sides, and that's going to be 14 feet. Now we need to double the dimensions and see what does that do to the area and perimeter. So here is the new rectangle. The 4 is doubled to 8, the 3 is doubled to 6. The new area is the base times the height, 6 times 8 is 48 feet squared. The perimeter when we add all the sides, is now 28 feet. We doubled the dimensions. How does doubling the dimensions of the rectangle affect the perimeter? The perimeter changed by timesing it by 2. We double the dimensions, we're going to double the perimeter. But if you notice, the area is not double the original area. Instead, because we multiplied both of these, the width and the length, by 2. To change 12 into 48, we have to multiply it by 2 squared, which is 4. 12 times 4 is 48. 
So using the ideas from the last problem, let's look at these rectangles. They're similar. What is the ratio of their areas and perimeters? Let's start with perimeter. The perimeter of the small shape is 10 inches. The perimeter of the large shape is 50 inches. So the ratio of the perimeters is 10 to 50. It matches the ratio of the sides. So the 10 belongs to the small rectangle. Let's look at the width of the small rectangle and put 2. Now let's look at the width of the large rectangle and put 10. And you can see that if you simplify both of these, they are both the ratio 1 fifth. So the ratio between the sides is the same as the ratio between the perimeters. Now let's look at the ratio for the areas. The area of the small rectangle is 6 inches squared. The area of the large rectangle is 150 inches squared. So the ratio of the areas is 6 over 150, which if you simplify that is 1 over 25. Now think back to the last problem. When we doubled it, it wasn't going to double the area. It actually was 2 squared. So the ratio of the areas is not the same as the ratio of the sides like perimeter. Instead, you need to square the ratio of the sides. So the ratio of the sides is one-fifth when we simplify it. And when you square one-fifth, one squared is one, five squared is twenty-five. 